Welcome back. Well, you tell the world a story with what you wear. Mm -hmm. If you're not sure how to get through the year with your fashion choices, we've got some help for you. Fashion stylist April Clark is the author of Are You Going to Wear That? 365 Days of Style Tips, and she joins us now. So nice to have you here, April. Thank Love you. Having you. Let's Thank talk you. about the color wheel. You say we should have one in our closet? Yes, the color wheel is something to help kind of motivate you to try different colors every time you go, 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 go excuse me go to your closet okay so for instance if you want to try let's say an analog pairing an analog pairing is anything where it's like the violet next to the blue or red next to the orange that'll kind of help you say instead of wearing the same red top with the same black bottoms mm -hmm. and then if you want to do a color block what you do is you start with one color mm -hmm. and then you go to eight one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's wow. another one. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's wow. what you call your triad pairing. Ooh. That's great for color blocking. Because some people try to do color blocking and are doing the wrong colors. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Story of mine. Where do you buy a color wheel? You could do Michael's, any kind of art store, something like that. And just stick it in your closet and say, what should I do? And then also, complementary colors are right across. So your red is right across from your green. Your blue is across from your orange. That helps to kind of spark some creativity. Hmm in your style yeah, and give you that love style it. color. All right, yes, so we it. have a model to demonstrate tip two, the outfit formula. Yes, Stacy is demonstrating my outfit formula. Now your outfit formula is your one basic, that is your interest piece, that's a completer piece, and then that's your accessories. So her interest piece are her shoes. Those are lovely Ooh, shoes those from shoes Azani Boutique. They're hot. hot. Yes, at Aura Salon in Durham. And that's her basic is her skirt. So you have a really interesting piece in her shoes, and then her accessory is her her color in her um, purse and her necklace. So that's the way you want to kind of think of how should I put together an outfit. Think of your interest piece, something that'll get people to look at you, <laughs> and then some color and your accessories, and then build it on a basis. Because you don't want to do too much. You couldn't have those flashy shoes with a really flashy top and really flashy jewelry. Absolutely not. Absolutely. <laughs> Actually, this is an intermediate styler, someone who kind of has a way to knows how to take their interest piece and make it there, also their completer piece. But you, if you're really basic, just stick to the basic black and then add your interest piece and build on that. Okay. Next, mix and match our bikini. Yes, I mean, you know, everybody thinks of going ahead and wearing the top the same color and the bottom that's the same color, but I say you should mix it up. Right. Why? To give you some different kinds of looks. Oh. You could try to do a printed top and a printed bottom. That's fine, but if you just mix them up a little bit, it, gives, it spreads your wardrobe. Immensely. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it looks fantastic. So you just take one of, one or two of the colors out of the prints and then go ahead and buy the basic and then mix and match. And then it gives you some interest rather than just wearing the matchy-matchy colors. And a, a lot of stores flavor. sell the pieces separately so that you can do that. Right, right. And especially if you're a different size on the top and the bottom. Okay. It just kind of helps to give you more fashion with your swimsuits. All right. And then finally, our last model is demonstrating two tips. Yes, yes. So we're talking about you should always have an outfit uniform hmm. and for or when you're doing an interview. Okay. So she has more of a career that's in an art museum. So she has a uniform that she always wears, black and white, stick to the black and white, the navy blues, the grays. But also you wanna make sure that it's something that can translate to different types of industries as well. So she could also wear this if she had a different type of industry. But you wanna have that one uniform piece that you're always going to wear that keeps you polished, but that you know that you're safe. Okay, and Very were cool. those both tips or are we well, still missing the one? Okay. <laughs> and then the last tip, if you're gonna go from desk to dinner, whenever mm -hmm. you travel, there are 12 pieces that you should have in your suitcase to okay. help you go from desk to dinner. All right. I'm gonna give you six. All right. okay. The other pieces you have to go by the book. Okay. <laughs> six, you should, you should go ahead and have a blade a black or white blazer, a simple pencil black skirt, okay. a metallic shoe, a black pump, a statement necklace, and then you also want to have a slim pant. Slim pant, good Very advice. Good. You can get all the advice in April's <laughs> book. Are you going to wear that? April, thank you so much. And models, you look amazing. Thank you.